Hello everyone, you're welcome to Feel Cool Mathematics. If you're new to this channel, before we start, please subscribe to my channel so that you can get videos from here. x plus 2 to the power of 4 equals 16. We want to provide the complete solution to this problem. Okay, now what will be the first step to take? x plus 2 to the power of 4 equals 4 to the power of 2. I'm having 4 to the power of 2 because I want to apply difference of 2 squares. Now, that means I'm going to break this 4 into 2 as well. So that I'll be getting x plus 2 to the power of 2. Then, I will still raise this to the power of 2. So that 2 times 2 will now give us the 4 over there. And this is equal to 4 to the power of 2. Now, the next thing I'm going to do is to bring 4 to the power of 2 to the left. So that we'll have x plus 2 to the power of 2. Then, I will now have um, this raised to the power of 2. Then, minus this becomes minus 4 to the power of 2. Everything is equal to 0. But for this alone, you know I can expand this, right? And if I expand this, you know what I'm going to get? I'll get x squared plus 4x, then plus 4. So if I expand this alone, this is what I'm going to get. Put it in bracket. This square is no longer there because we've expanded it. This 2, the square outside will still appear. Then we have minus 4 to the power of 2, and it is equal to 0. Simple now, right? So we can now apply our difference of 2 squares. So what do we do? The difference of 2 squares, this square on the outside will no longer be there. So we we'll just have x plus 4x plus 4, then minus 4. Okay, then in the second bracket, I'll have the whole of this, but this will turn to plus. So it's going to be x, this is square here, x squared plus 4x plus 4, then we'll have plus 4 again. Because of this negative, it's turning to plus this time, then everything is equal to 0. From here, this and this will cancel. So we just have x squared plus 4x from here, okay? Then from this side, we'll have x squared plus 4, then plus 8. Because we need to add this and this to get 8, then everything is equal to 0. Now, we have these two to multiply so that we can get 0, right? So it means that either of them is equal to 0. So x squared plus 4x is equal to 0, or this is equal to 0. So I'm going to deal with this first before coming to this. From here, we have a quadratic equation, right? And the highest power is 2, that's why it's quadratic. x is common to both of them. So we're going to get x as a common factor. Here we have 1x, then here we have plus 4. Close the bracket and equate to 0. So it means that x is equal to 0 or x plus 4 is equal to 0. Now x remains 0 or from here x is equal to 0 minus 4 and that will give us minus 4. So from the first part we, got, we are getting x to be equal to 0 or minus 4. Now, let's go straight to the second part, and that will be obtained from here. x squared plus 4x, sorry, this is, there's an x over here. x squared plus 4x plus 8 equals 0. Let me write it down here. x squared plus 4x plus 8 equals 0. Okay, so if this is the case, how do we deal with this problem? That is what we have now. 
Now, to deal with this problem, we are going to use the formula method. What is the formula? x is equal to minus b plus or minus square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. Now, if I don't say this, you might not know it. This formula is called the quadratic general formula because it is believed to be able to solve every problem on quadratic equation. Now, from here, our a, b, c here serve as the, 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 the coefficient of x squared, the coefficient of x, and the constant, respectively. So as it is now, our a is 1, our b is 4, and our c is 8. Now let's substitute into this. So we have our x to be equal to, in place of minus b, we write minus 4, then plus or minus, we write b squared, which will now be 4 squared, minus 4ac. That will be 4 times 1 times c, and our c is 8. The whole of this will be divided by 2 times a, and our a is 1. Now, how do we deal with this? x is now equal to minus 4 plus or minus 4 squared is 16 minus 4 times 1 is 4, um, 4 times 8 is 32. Simple, right? So the whole of this will be over 2 times 1 and that is 2. Now let me continue on this side so that I will not have to turn over. Now from here, our x will be equal to we have minus 4 plus or minus 16 minus 32 is minus 16. So in the brackets, I'll have negative 16. And the whole of that will be over 2, right? But this negative 16 cannot be obtained from calculator because it's giving us a complex solution. So our x is equal to minus 4 plus or minus. Now, square root of 16 on its own will give us 4, right? And then because of this negative, we'll get imaginary, which is i. This is still divided by 2. But mind you, 2 can go here, and the same 2 can go into 4. So therefore, our x from here is minus 2, because 2 into minus 4 is minus 2, plus or minus 2 into this 4 will give us 2, then we have i. So here we have two solutions again, which is x equals minus 2 or... Okay, sorry, I'm not doing it well. x is equal to minus 2 plus, plus 2 i or minus 2 minus 2 i. Okay, so what am I saying? Because of this positive, I have to do it in two ways. So one has to be positive and the other has to be negative. So from here, we have another two solutions for x. But these are complex solutions. Now let's bring the four solutions together. We have our x1. Our x1 from what we got before is 0. Our x2 from what we got before is minus 4. Okay, then our x3 is from here. So we're getting minus 2 plus 2i. So we have from um, minus 2 plus 2i. This is our x3. Then our x4 is also from here. And it's minus 2 minus 2i. So these are the four solutions. Thank you for watching. If you love this, please subscribe to my channel and keep sharing to your friends just like you always do. Thank you for your support.